today I'm going to do a products I've used up video. Um, it isn't that long ago since I did my last uh, products I've used up video and I don't know what's happened but I just found myself having a lot of products that I've used up uh, lately. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like crazy that I've gone through so many things in such a short amount of time. But um, I did plan on doing a Price of Used Up video in April or something like that. But I do see that if I have to wait till then, this video would be way too long because I've got so many products to show you guys. All of the products are obviously beauty related and it is just going to be the same old drill. I'm going to show you the products that I've used up and then I'm going to tell you what I thought about them. So it's some small mini reviews and also I'll tell you if I would repurchase the product or not. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I'll get into it. Stuff. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is my GHD Style Heat Protect Spray. And it looks like this, and this was an amazing heat protecting spray. I have loved it. It was obviously for the hair. Um, and I used it in my towel dried hair before I blow dried or straightened my hair. So um, it's just worked so, so well. Um, I've loved it. And yeah, it's just a really, really, really good heat protecting spray. And I've really loved it. It comes in a 120 milliliters bottle, which is actually quite a lot. Um, I think I've had this for like over a half a year, something like that. It was crazy, and I've literally almost used it every single day. Um, you only needed like the tiniest amount because it like distributed nicely into the hair when you sprayed it. And as it, as you can see, comes in this spray form. I just, I really love this product. I'm definitely going to repurchase it. Next thing is something from from oh, oh, oh. Next thing is something from Oudicam. It is the Nordic um, Nordic Spirit Shower Gel, and it looks like this. It's just a shower gel. I think I've shown you this one before. Um, I do like it because it's organic and it's just made from really good products. Um, it's paraben free. It's um, vegan, and yeah, it's just good for the environment. Good for your body. Good for a lot of different things, so I really like it. I like the smell of it as well. It smells like citrusy and just really lovely, and it's really super moisturizing as well. So I really like it. It comes in a 245 milliliters bottle, quite a lot of product, and this is actually just like a drugstore product that I picked up in my local supermarket. And yeah, I loved it so so much, and I definitely recommend you guys to go check it out. Next is a hair mask from Moroccan Oil. It is the Intense Hydrating Mask, um, which is from the hydration um, range. I've also got a range that's called Repair, but this is from the hydration, which just gives instant hydration, whereas the repair one is kind of like rebuilding the hair. So um, I really, really enjoyed using this. Um, as you can see, it comes in a fairly big bottle and I've used it all, oh it's all wet inside, yikes, but as you can see I've used it all of this, really nothing left, I've just scraped everything out of it because it was so good. Um, it's got, um, ah, 250 milliliters in here, and yeah, it's for medium to thick dry hair and my hair isn't really that dry but the lady um, at the counter where I bought this one said to me that my hair wasn't you know like damaged either so I didn't need the repair one so I just needed this regular one which is kind of like for normal to dry hair. Next is something from MAC and it is the MAC Lightful Marine Bright Formula. It is just a moisture cream and it was so Good and the smell, oh yeah, the smell was amazing and it was just so hydrating. Um, I used it only as a day cream, I used it before I applied my makeup and primer and so on. And god, is that good! It is amazing, I really love it. Um, I'm so sad that it's already that I'm already out of it, but okay, it's only got 15 milliliters in there which is not a lot and I do remember that it was quite expensive considering that you only get 15 milliliters of product. 
Um, but the bottle is really, really cool as well. Um, I really like this kind of a look. And yeah, um, I really liked it. The only bad thing is that it is very, very pricey and you don't really get that much product for the price, so that's kind of like unfortunate. Yeah, somewhere in the future I might get this one again because I really liked it. It was amazing for my skin. It just really hydrated my, hydrated my skin really, really nicely and it just smells incredible. Next is some eye makeup remover from Minirisk. It's a Danish brand, by the way, and it is um, without perfume, without color, and without any like preservatives or parabens, and it was really, really good. I think I showed you this kind of like eye makeup remover in my last product I've used up video, and yeah, I just really, really like it. I think it's so good because it's very like mild. Um, it's kind of like a milky texture. Um, and yeah, it's just very, very mild for your eyes and for your face and it just really removes your makeup so easily and without any, you know, like fuss and it doesn't make your skin feel greasy afterwards, so I really like it. Next is a primer and it is the Benefit the Professional Primer. No need to say much more, I love it! I've already repurchased it. Such a nice silky feeling that it gives your skin and it's just so damn amazing. Go get it, you have to try it. And I've also used up not just one, but two of my Max Factor Plum Defying Mascaras. They are so dry now that I can't really work with them anymore. Yeah, one of my favorite mascaras, you know it. And obviously I've already repurchased um, some new ones because I can't live without these mascaras. Next is a little perfume, and it is the Naomi Campbell Cat Deluxe Perfume. This is only like a travel size and I've loved this. I've had it with me in my handbag. The packaging is so cute with this little thing here and with the cheetah print on it. It's just really, really cute. Um, and the smell is just so lovely. Um, it's kind of like this, yeah, cat to look smell. I don't know. It's very girly and a bit strong as well. It's, I won't say spicy, but it's a strong scent and you definitely um, like recognize it when you smell it. Next is a sample size of the Estee Lauder Day Wear Advanced Multi Protection Antioxidant Cream. Um, this cream is so, so, so good. I think I'm going to purchase the full size of this one. As you can see, this is only like a sample size. Um, it's got like um, 50 milliliters in there, which is actually a quite good like size for a sample. Um, but yeah, I really loved it. It was so, so good, really hydrating, and you can both apply it in the morning and in the evening, which is what I've done. And I think this is a perfect pair with my um, Advanced Night Repair Serum, also from Estee Lauder. So I think I'm going to purchase this one in the full size. Speaking of the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum, I've used up this, um, I think it's 50 milliliters bottle. Yeah, 50 milliliters. And I love it. I've already repurchased um, actually the bigger size, which has got like 75 milliliters in it or something like that. This is some expensive stuff, seriously, but it works wonders. I love it. And I find myself I can't live without it anymore. I'm just, I'm obsessed with it. Next is a Dove Purely Pampering Body Cream with Shea Butter and Warm Vanilla. This is an amazing body cream. Mm, and it smells so good of like vanilla and shea butter and just really lovely. Very thick cream, but it actually dries on your skin pretty quickly, which is a very huge plus in my book because I hate those kind of like buddy buddies or buddy creams that just sticks on your skin and, and takes forever to dry. It had 300 milliliters in there and it lasted me some months. Um, and I didn't use it every single day. I love this one and I'm definitely going to repurchase it because it is just a drugstore product and it's very, very, very affordable. So just a really good product. Next is the, the Buddy Shop, uh, what's it called? Olive Cream Buddy Scrub. This is only the 50 milliliters one and you can, this is like only a travel size or sample size. It came in a set, um, in a Christmas set box. Um, so it only came in this small size, but I think I'm going to repurchase the big size because I really like this one and I like the smell of olives. It's it's so nice. I really like it. And it kind of like reminds me of 
a tie between olive and marzipan-ish smell. It's kind of weird, but it just smells so good. And with the body cream, it's heaven. Uh, next for some cut and pack. These are from Mertes, um, a Danish beauty store, drugstore, pharmacy thing. <laughs> kind of like boots, but just way smaller. Um, but yeah, th these were okay, nothing special, um, and there was 40 in there. And the other one is from, um, no idea, um, but these are also like the maxi cutting pads, and there were 50 in there. Both okay products. Next, I've got a travel size, or sample size actually, of the Laura Mercier, oh my god, the name have worn off. Um, but it is an eye cream, and I've used it under my eyes um, before I went to sleep at night, and I really want the full size because it is so good. It's so nourishing, and when you wake up in the morning, you don't have those kind of like sore eyes, anything, anything like that. Then I've got another sample size, and this is the Helena Rubinstein Prodigy Power Cell Youth Greater Serum. Um, and this is kind of like my um, advanced line repair serum from Estee Lauder. I do think that I prefer the Estee Lauder over this one, but this was really, really good as well. And then, unfortunately, I'm out of my Chanel Le Weekend. The fairy tale has come to an end, and I don't want them to get out of my face. But um, yeah, there's no more left in them. Um, I really love them. They are so luxurious and. I used the day cream in the day, the night cream in the night, and the weekend cream in the weekends, and just amazing creams. And if you can get yourself to buy such expensive creams, I would definitely recommend you guys to do it. They are lovely on the skin. Oh no, it was here. Sorry, um, I haven't shown you. Here's the um, day cream. So all three of them used up, done, no more. <laughs> Next is a candle. This is from Tombol, which is a Danish beauty brand. A Danish beauty brand, and this is a scented candle, and it's the one called Calming, and oh, it smells lovely. I think I'm going to like clear all of the leftover candle in there, and then I'm going to use it to store some brushes or something like that in them because they're actually pretty cute just the way that they are. So I like that. Another candle is the chocolate from um, Tiger and also sent a candle, smelled like chocolate, like very artificial chocolate, but still really, really lovely and I actually really liked it. And another scent of candle was the fresh scent scent of candle and it smelled like, uh, oh. Um, it just smelled really, really good as well, very calming, I just really love um, scent of candles. Oh yeah, kind of like florally. I do like that I said that this was only beauty related, but I've also got some chewing gum, and this is the Wiggly's Extra Wide Bubble Mint Chewing Gum. This is so good, it reminds me of my childhood with oh, bubble gum, and oh, it's just so good. If you live in England or anywhere where you can get this chewing gum, I bought it in when I was in London, then you have to go get it. It is so good and it's also sugar free so it's still good for you. Oh, So guys, that was my products I've used up video. Um, lots of like skincare and hair care, but um, that's what I tend to use up first. You know, like makeup, it takes a long time to use up foundations or something like that. But these are the products that I've used up and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel as usual. Um, I'm almost up on a thousand subscribers, so I'm so happy. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching and have an awesome day.